peace and blessings and a whole lot of love. God is how dear. This is story time. I'm going to share my personal life with the world. Let me tell you something. I've been neglected as a child. Came from a dysfunctional family. Mother and father divorced when I was like six. Mom ended up on welfare. My mother was a drug addict. So there was time where I was, we were neglected. But I knew that my mom loved me and she did the best with she, the best she can with how she knew. She did the best she can with what she knew. And I forgave my mom for that. I turned around, married, got married. Uh, the first husband tried to murder me. The second husband cheated on me. I ended up a single parent twice, raising four kids by myself. And during that time, I, the one thing my mom instilled in me to always have your own. So I never was dependent on welfare while raising my four damn kids. I always maintained a job. So I end up moving to Philly with 80 damn dollars on, in my pocket on maternity leave. Four damn kids came out here, lived with my mother for a few weeks, got a, a, an efficiency, efficiency apartment. Which one wasn't the best, but it, we called it, it, it was our own. Ended up having a fire, moved to a two-bedroom apartment, stayed there for about seven years. My daughter ended up with a house. Now, I'm going to say this. I came out here, like I said, with $80 in my pocket, single parent. Got on welfare the first month, found a job the second month. I start, I left New York. With pay, which was paying me $13. I ended up coming to Philly and had to take a job for $6. But when you are parent, you're going to take what you could get because I prefer to make $6 an hour. Even though I had an associate degree, I ended up taking a $6, $6, a job, $6 an hour job because I had four kids to raise and I did not want to be on welfare. So I took that $6 an hour job. I end up, you know, making, getting pay raises throughout the 10 years that I was at the job. I end up going back to school and get my bachelor's, which pushed me up into the teens. I end up leaving that job because it was time for me to grow. But what I am saying, I've been through a lot. Oh, I suffered that major depressive episode when I wanted to kill myself back in 1999, right before I had my fourth child. So, I'm, so what I'm saying is... Your life is dependent on your mindset. If you want better, you're going to do better. But you cannot be afraid to leave people behind. There are people who are in an environment that's a sick environment. You can't grow in a sick environment. As long as you're around people that is not supporting you and helping you reach your goals but are using you, guess what? You're missing your blessings. And sometimes the universe works in mysterious ways where they will send people in your life to help you. But because you are so afraid to move and leave your, your family and your friends and what you know best, you will miss out on a lot of blessings. I overcame so much stuff because I am resilient and was always determined to bounce back being neglected to being almost murdered cheated on <laughs> a major depressive episode and look where i'm at, am at now yes i'm still working for the white man because i'm trying to be an entrepreneur but i'm not living off of welfare i'm not living in the projects so my goal right now is to clean up my credit so i can purchase a house yes it's late in life because i'm 51 years old but then i can get that house and leave that shit to my younger daughter you understand what I'm saying? So life is what you make it. If you want better, you're going to do better. And you cannot allow fear to control you. Fear controls a lot of people because some people are not willing to step out of their comfort zone so they can get better. Some people are so stuck in their ways, they're refusing to hear what people tell them. If people telling you to leave certain people alone, then you need to leave them alone. If certain people saying leave your environment then you need to listen to that because as long as you in the environment that sick environment you are not going to prosper i overcame a lot because i was resilient and i wanted to do better than my mom so i'm raising my kids to do better than me i am a grandparent at the at 51 years old of one child so i am so grateful that my sons is not out here slapping dick around getting every female that they with pregnant i'm glad that they got females in their life that is motivating them and they 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 aiming for long term relationships instead of out here seeping the fuck around making all these goddamn babies which is just so trifling and it hurts the child 
But as long as you are afraid of change, you will always be stuck. You would never prosper. I just published my first book on Amazon. I got an Amazon store on Amazon. I'm trying to upgrade my YouTube channel so I can get more subscribers. But life is what you make it. And as long as you are fearful and scared of change, you will never ever blossom. I've been through a lot, but no one would never know what I've been through because I was able to bounce back from everything I've been through. And yes, the two husbands who did me dirty, guess what? We are I'm friends with the both of them. We have healthy relationships. I have healthy relationships with the both of, both of them because I understand people only do what they know how to do because of the way they were taught. But if you want to do better, you have to real. You have to be willing to change your mindset. You have to be willing to uh, stop allowing fear to control your life. Fear controls people's life. That's why they can't prosper. You have been given the power to to create your life. You have been given the power to manifest things in your life that you want. But until you wake up and hear that call and accept that call and say, you know what, it's time for me to pack up my shit and go, you will always be stuck. Peace, blessings, and a whole lot of love. God is Hadiya.